Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I didn't actually think I was going to be able to film this video today, so I'm really pleased that the light has gotten a bit better. It was so dark before. Um, so yeah, I'm going to film my makeup collection video. And I thought I would start by showing you what my makeup collection looks like and then I'm going to sort through my makeup at the same time um, because I feel like there's a few things that I don't need anymore and I thought I would talk you through them and talk you through the ones I use and my favourites and that kind of thing. So yeah, I've got a um, Muji collection of drawers and like a couple stands that I keep lipsticks and things in so I'm going to show you what that looks like now. This is my dressing table area. Um, so it looks like this, and here I've got my lipsticks, um, here is like a big plastic container, I need to clean this again actually, so excuse the mess, I only cleaned it recently but it seems to have gotten really um, dirty again, which is annoying. Um, so here I've got eyeshadow palettes, here I've got like blushes and highlighters, um, more palettes, this one's so scratched. <laughs> Um, this one is more palettes yet again. I think I might need to reduce some of my palettes. Um, and more lip products here. Then up here we've got brushes in this one, lip liners, um, some eyebrow products I think, and like tweezers. Um, here we've got mascaras. Um, I do like to have quite a few mascaras at one time. Um, and then here we have, we've got a Nivea Post Shave Balm, which I wrote a blog post about actually, um, here. And then, because it doesn't really fit any of the drawers, so I might have to so let's move to skincare, because it's not technically part of my skincare routine, but I'll deal with that later. Um, and then here is some like powders and an eyeshadow, that wouldn't fit another one. <laughs> um, here are my cream eyeshadow pots. And here we've got eyeshadow sticks, eyeliners, and liquid liners, that kind of thing. Here we've got my foundation, like base collection. Um, yeah, and a couple of primers, which uh, again I'll go through this all separately in a minute. And then here we've got the odd bronzer, uh, blusher, and another palette. So we're going to start with the base and primer products. Um, I'll start with this side. This is the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. Definitely, I'm going to keep my drawer here. I'm definitely going to keep this one because I absolutely love it. Use it um, not every day, but I think it's the best concealer I've ever used, so wouldn't want to be about that one. Um, this is a Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer. Um, again, I've only got two concealers at the moment, so I think I'm allowed to keep another one. Um, Dior Maximizer Glow Primer. This is quite expensive. Um, I don't use it as much as I should, so I might keep this on. <laughs> the Benefit Professional Primer. I'm going to use this. There's not much left, um, but I don't want to run out. Um, so I'm going to keep that. This is the Lat Girl Travel Size Brightening Primer. Um, it's only tiny, so I think I'll keep that too. I think I'm going to keep everything in this drawer, by the way, <laughs> but I'm going to show you um, what I have anyway. It's the Tarte BB Primer um, Tinted Moisturiser Cream. It's really good. I use this pretty much every day, so um, yeah, definitely keeping that. It's got SPF 13 as well. L'Oreal Nude Magic Cushion Foundation. Um, definitely keeping this. Really handy to have on the go and gives great coverage. Nice glowy finish. The Rimmel Wake Me Up. Uh, foundation also gives a nice glow finish and probably the most dark foundation I have at the moment. Um, definitely a summer foundation, but still got a few weeks of summer left. Um, the L'Oreal Infallible in the Infallible Foundation. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one. It's so good. It's matte and really covers everywhere. So I think this would be great, especially for autumn winter when I do want a bit more coverage. Um, to protect my skin from the wind and whatnot, so yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. Best drugstore foundation I've used, by the way, um, that L'Oreal one. Um, this seems to have stuck its way in here, might move that to a different drawer. The Maybelline Contour Stick, um, it's okay, I'm not sure 
I've really got to grips with how to use it. Um, I feel like the sticks too small with my face. I'm not sure if that's just me. I don't know, but I'll keep it um, because it is good. But I think it needs to go in a different drawer. This is the Scott Scott Barnes uh, body bling. It's like a bronzer. Um, it's really, it gives a really nice glow. I haven't had that many occasions to use it um, this summer, but it's definitely a good product, so I'm going to keep that there. Although I might put that in my cupboard with all my skincare products. You see, my blush collection is relatively small compared to everything else um, because I don't really wear blush that much. Um, so I've gotten rid of a few recently, so I haven't got much left to show you. Um, this is Benefit Dandelion. Definitely keeping this because it is a really natural looking blush, which is what I like. Um, very, very, very subtle, um, like a ballerina pink. did a whole blog post on this. So check out my blog, ellarider.com, if you want to see it. Um, so yeah, very natural. I love the brushes that come with these as well. Um, normally I just throw away free brushes, but... This one's really good. And then we've got a gosh blusher. Um, the shade is Rose Whisper. And it's really um, like a bronzy pink. Um, very warming for my skin. And would suit any pale skin tones, I think, really well. Um, it's matte with a slight, very tiny amount of shimmer. Um, so definitely would recommend picking it up. It's very cheap as well. And we've got the... So I'm, gonna, I'm keeping these two, by the way. <laughs> And we've got the MAC Paint Pot in Perky. Um, this is a bit of a random buy one time. I was in Vista Village and I just saw it in their cosmetics company store shop and picked it up. Um, it's a very peachy pink colour. Um, I use this on my eyes, lips and cheeks. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep that because it's a really pretty colour and I always get compliments when I wear this. And it lasts all day because it's um, really long wearing. Then we have a blush I should have used more of um, because it is absolutely beautiful. It's just very um, bright compared to the blushes I use normally. And it's the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Chic um, Love is the Drug. And you've got, ooh, you've got the middle colour um, which I think is a pop shade. And you've got the outside colour which is a bit lighter. Um, so I generally swirl my brush in the lighter shade. And then apply a tiny amount of middle shade onto my cheeks and the apples of my cheeks. But yeah, I need to use this more because it is a gorgeous colour. I just need to think I need to use a bit more of a light hand when I use it. So I'll keep that one. Um, then we've got the NYX um, Baked Blush in what shade? Chiffon. Which is, again, like a delicate pink. You can see a running theme here. Um, it's got a slight shimmer. Um, it's a really nice highlight to the cheeks, so if you don't want to use a highlighter and a blusher separately, um, this is really good to apply on its own, and as with all NYX products, they're really affordable, so definitely keeping that one. And then probably my most used blusher is this Urban Decay Exhale Blush. I think my mum got me this for Christmas one time. Um, it's like a bronzy, I probably use this the most because it's the most like bronzer. <laughs> It's like a bronzy, peachy shade with a slight hint of shimmer. Um, so yeah, I really like that. And I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to keep all those blushes, but to be fair, there's only three, four, five, six of them. So I think I'm allowed. So here are all my palettes. Um, I've got the Tanya Rosy Flush Cheek Palette. Um, oh, I can open it. It's a bronzer, blusher and a highlighter. Um, to be honest, I'm going to give this away because I don't really use it that much. Um, I love Tanya Burr, but I don't think the quality is that great So um, compared to other palettes I have. So I think this could go to a better home, maybe my sister. Um, I will find someone who will use it more than I will, I think. And we've got the Collection Eyes Uncovered Nude Bronze Palette. Um, it's a really good palette for the price, um, the quality is really good and the colours are really pretty, um, like bronzy, neutrals, very warm tones, so this is going to be great for autumn. Um, so I'm definitely keeping this one. Another eyeshadow palette I'd absolutely love is the Urban Decay Naked Basics um, 2 palette. This 
I love these because they're matte colours and you can wear them every day and they look really natural. Um, I use the two lighter shades the most as an all-over base and the darker colours as an eyeliner sometimes. It's really good, love that one. Then we've got the Tarte Tartlet Palette. Um, I got this in New York in Sephora and I think this is my most used palette of the year because look how gorgeous the colours are. Um, I love this colour and this one and these three and that one. Um, they're all so nice and the palette's really big. It's got a massive mirror in it so you can do your makeup in it. Um, absolutely love that and definitely keeping it. And we've got the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita palette. Um, oh, the colours are so gorgeous. Look at them. Um, I wish I had more like evening occasions to wear this because it's a, bit, it's a bit too much during the day but at night time it's so beautiful. Um, you've got the highlighter shade here, you've got like a smoke shade here, like a beautiful burgundy colour here and like the glitter shade, the bronze glitter here. Um, so I love, love, love this palette. Just got a new one out actually, I think it's called Dreamy, Dreamy palette, um, which looks amazing and I'd love to get my hands on it. Then we have the Kiko, um, like a build your own palette that I got. I'm in two minds with this one because I kind of really want to use this shade more. Um, it's like a pinky shade, but I have I've barely touched it since I bought it. Um, so I'm thinking I probably shouldn't have got it in the first place and I should give it away to someone. I have a friend who I know will love this, so maybe I should give it to her. I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. And then again, if I'm not sure, I should just give it away, shouldn't I? So then, the last one is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Obviously going to keep this because I've used it to death. Um, I really like the whole collection, but for now I've got the pink one. And I love the pink tones, the rose gold tones, right up my street. So I'm going to keep this. And yeah, that is, I've got one, two, three, four, five, five left. I'm going to find room for those and then I will move on to the eyeliners. Here we've got my eyeshadows, not eyeshadows, eyeliners. <laughs> um, well this snuck its way in actually, this is their real primer. Um, it's like a brown, dark brown colour. I do quite like this, so I'm going to keep this. Um, I think it's nearly gone anyway. For eyeliners we have the, oh, I've used this so much, Charlotte Tilbury, I think it's Audrey powder pencil. It's like a really light bronze colour, absolutely lovely and looks really natural for daytime, like a very soft brown. Grey eyeliner from Rimmel. Um, I like to wear grey every now and again, I think it looks quite nice against blue eyes. I'm going to keep that. Um, Kiko Turquoise liner. Again a bit of a random purchase but I feel like I never know when I want to wear blue liner even though I haven't all summer. So maybe that should go. Put that in the maybe pile. This one is a shadow pencil stick from Collection. Um, it's a very light highlighter colour, but I can't remember the last time I used this, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Three Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow sticks. Um, this is like a mink colour, mesmerising mink, I think it's called, um, which is meant for blue eyes. Love this, but you should use it more again. <laughs> this is the colour chameleon in amber haze. Um, also like a beautiful bronze colour, you can use these as like eyeliners or all over eyeshadows. And they really last long as well. Colour Chameleon in Champagne Diamond, this is like a gorgeous glittery colour. Um, again, need to use this more because it's so beautiful and I don't use it enough. Then we've got the Bourjois Colour Blend um, eyeshadow stick and this shade is hmm, Rose Feviste. Like a rose gold colour, um, also love that one. I'm gonna keep that. The Rimmel Exaggerate Liner in like a nude colour, really great for brightening your eyes, putting it on the waterline. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm sorry if this is boring for you, but I thought it might be quite interesting to see what's in my collection. I know it's gonna be quite long, but um, bear with me um, if you want to carry on or skip to the end, I don't mind. <laughs> um, then this is the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, rock and Coal Pencil in Mar Varushka Mink. It's like a very dark, very dark charcoal colour. Um, 
which I don't use as much as the brown, but it's also really good. We have the Kevin Aquan, um the Precision Eye Definer, which is a really gorgeous deep dark brown. Um, it's got one of those like self-sharpening lids, so it's always always ready to go and really adds definition to the eyes without looking too black. Um, we've got a MAC cream eyeshadow pencil um, in like a pink colour. I know pink is quite an unusual shade to wear but I really like it on the eyes so I think it suits me so I'm going to keep that one. We've got two by Terry Ombre Black Star eyeshadows. Um, this one is, let's see the colour, we've got Frozen Quartz here which is like a very pale pink and then Bubble Glow, it's like a bubblegum pink. It's probably one of my favourite eyeshadow shades. You can see, yeah, it's a beautiful pink colour. These go on, glide on the eyelids really easily and they last so long. Then we have Scandal Eyes in like a gold colour. I'm going to get rid of this one because I don't really use it. Um, and I have nicer ones at the moment. Um, this is a Max Factor Wild Shadow Pencil in a grey colour. Again, I don't really use this much so I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, a Stila Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Really like this. Um, the pen's really easy to use. I don't wear liquid liner that much, but this is one I would reach for when I do. I'm going to keep that. And we've got two of the Rimmel, not Rimmel, um, Collection Fast Stroke Liquid Liners. Um, so I'm going to keep these. One's dark brown, one's black. They're just a really good, handy one to have. Um, whenever I feel I'll have the urge to wear liquid liners. On to mascaras, one of my favourite things to buy. <laughs> um, I have quite a few that are drying out, which is a bit annoying all at the same time, so I've kind of been mixing up the ones I've been using, um, so I'll show you the ones I've got. I've got the Maybelline Lash Sensational, um, this is the Luscious Full Fan Effect one, and I've also got the Lash Sensational Normal Lash Multiplying one. It's very similar, this one is really really good but I find it hard to remove, which puts me off from using it. Um, it's quite it dries quite, not sticky, but like, it's very glossy um, and slightly messy to use. I prefer this just for ease of application, but I like the finish of this one. Um, so it's quite a hard one for me, but I'm going to keep this one for sure, because I have hardly, it's still quite, um, there's still quite a lot left in it. This one, I'm not sure if it's much left. I think I should probably give this up because I've had it for so long now and it's not great to keep mascara for too long and I wear contact lenses so I think it's even more important to keep my eyes, um, that area clean. So I'm going to say goodbye to that but it won't be the last time I buy that one. I've um, got Barry M, that's how I roll mascara. Um, love the brush of this, it's just really affordable, really good mascara. It defines my lashes and lifts them, curls them, slightly volumising. So yeah, I'm it's drying out a tiny bit, but um, it's so I think it's like four pound, and it's very similar to the benefit that's how I roll mascara. So I'm gonna keep that. Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, one of my all-time favourites. Um, the brush is great, the formula is great. I should get more because it is drying out, but I haven't got round to it yet. Um, I'm gonna keep that for a bit longer. Um, it's gonna hold on. Um, I hope it holds on. And then we've got the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. My recent purchases, like, well not recent, like one of my most recent mascara purchases. This is um, really volumising, just a really good all round mascara. Um, it's really black, lengthens, thickens, love it. Um, my newest mascara is the L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss, Hipp um, yeah, Miss Hippie Mascara. It's the black formula. I don't really get any waterproof formulas because I don't like them. Um, they're really hard to remove for me. So I love. I compared this mascara to the uh, not to L'Oreal to the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because it's really volumizing and it just gives really dramatic lashes really quickly, which is always something I want. So I'm going to keep that. And then you saw this before. I'm going to put that with the mascaras. Here we've got my cream eyeshadows. They're all Maybelline colour tattoos, apart from a couple, um, because I absolutely love them. This is metallic pomegranate. This is the creamy beige, really matte, neutral colour. Love it. 
Um, this is a pink creme de rose, really beautiful matte pink. Um, creme de nude, which is also a matte, really good base colour, or you could use it as a concealer really on the lids. And we have the eternal gold shade, beautiful metallic gold. And on and on bronze, one of my most used shades, really gorgeous bronzy colour, perfect for summer. You're going to get a really nice natural smoky eye with that. Um, they last all day on the eyes, by the way. And then we've got the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerise in Better, which is a beautiful... Just open that for you. Like The quality is beautiful. I mean, I've stuck my brush in it, but it's a gorgeous gold sheen. So divine, <laughs> as she would say. And then we've got the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which has snuck its way in here. Or the Brow Pomade, sorry, Dip Brow, in dark brown. Um, I haven't used this in a while because I've had my eyebrows tattooed, um, which I explained in my last vlog, if you've not seen that already. Um, I'll link that down below. But yeah, that is really great too if you like a really defined brow and something that will last all day. Just quickly, these are some powders randomly that I found. So there's the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder, use it every day. I'm gonna keep that one. Makeup Forever HD Powder, definitely keeping that. Um, a Kaylin colour corrector, like concealer, really handy for like if any pesky blemishes, um, always use that. And then the Urban Decay HD powder, love this one and you can see I'm only running out so. Okay, a random collection here but I will do my best to go through it quickly. Um, red lip liner, Rimmel, definitely keeping. NYX pink rose lip pencil, definitely keeping. Um, like a spice Colour Rimmel Lip Liner, I'll keep that too. Brow Gel by uh, Brow Artist Plumper by L'Oreal. Don't really use that, so I might get rid of that. Um, Charlotte Tilbury new, Iconic Nude Lip Liner, love that. I'm going to keep all my lip liners, I think. Max Factor Nude Lip Liner. Ooh, something's missing its lid. Um, the, what's it called? Exaggerate Rimmel. You send a snob lip liner. Keeping that. Anastasia Brow Wiz, love that. Tarte Boho Nude Lip Liner. Adore the shades, beautiful peachy pink. Um, a dark red, which I think I'm going to get rid of because I've got the other red and I don't really, I probably wear red lipstick once a year. <laughs> um, the Charlotte Tilbury, like a pink, what's it called? Let me see. Lip Cheat in Pink Venus, that's the colour. Love that too. A new look lip liner, which is amazing, um, and like a nude shade. If you haven't tried new look lip liners, you need to. They're like two pound, and they're really creamy and really good. Um, Maybelline Sweet Pink lip liner. Love this shade. One of the first lip liners I ever bought. Still going strong. Um, this is a Kiko. That's where the lids come from. Um, lip liner, and it's very similar to Mac Spice, is it? But again, it's quite. I think I'll keep it because it's quite a good in-between, not too red but not too brown colour. Um, Smashbox, the pink lip liner, uses quite a lot so I'm going to keep that. Uh, Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, really like that even though again my eyebrows are tattooed, it's nice to have just in case. And Charlotte Hilby Pillow Talk Lip Cheat, a classic, definitely not getting rid of that. My Anastasia tweezers, um, love them, such a cute colour. Shivas tweezers, I forgot I had them actually. Um, should I keep them? Yeah, I'll keep them, they're expensive. Come in handy tweezers, don't they? Um, and like a clear brow gel, probably going to get rid of that because I don't use it. The area I'm most interested in clearing out because for someone who wears lip balm a lot, I sure do have a lot of lip colours. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to try and whiz through these and get rid of as much as I can, but still having options left. Um, Max Factor Gloss, I'm going to get rid of that, don't really wear gloss. NARS Lip Pencil, bright pink, rarely ever wear bright pink, so I'm going to give that away to a friend. Sugar Nude Lip Balm, love this, but unfortunately it's broken, so I'm not really going to have to use that again. Blistex Lip Balm, keeping that, love that. Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Colour Lip. I've been using this a lot, so I'll keep that one. Uh, Tanya Burr Lip Gloss. These are actually really good. Um, they're quite sticky, but if you pat them on, 
they um, last really well. Max Factor lipstick thing is just, oh, it's called Rosewood. Um, this is a really nice nudie pink brown colour. I didn't have anything like this, so I picked it up. Um, definitely keeping that one. Or Raw Chai Spice Lip Balm. Love that, keeping that. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, what's this called? Between the Sheets lipstick. Gorgeous pink. Um, so I'm going to keep that. I love all her lip colours. Um, I've got another, I'll get hers now. Um, Amazing Grace. It's a pink colour, I'm keeping that one. I've got her minis. Um, Penelope Pink, Bitch Perfect and Mar Marilyn. So, so Marilyn. Um, these are all beautiful, so I'm going to keep them. I've got them in um, the Christmas collection. Um, and what else? Rimmel Matte Lip Balm. Really unusual colour, love this, I'm going to keep that. And on lips rhubarb lip balm hmm. I don't use that this much that very much I love this shade more so then I'm going to keep that one and get rid of this one I love the form of those lip balms they're so moisturizing um Tanya Burr chic lip gloss also really good her old formula um gonna keep that one NYX red lipstick okay I'm gonna have to put the reds together and make a decision because I don't wear much red at all oh I've only got Two, three. Okay, so I've got Rimmel, Kate Moss one. Um, that's really good. It's one of Zoella's favourite colours and we're quite similar skin tones, so I'm going to keep that, 107. Um, Nars Cruella, this is a classic, so I think I'll have to keep that. And then this is just quite nice because it's a creamy matte colour, so I think I'm going to have to keep that too. Whoops. Um, a soft matte lip cream from NYX, really nice. Love this. Um, it's NYX Lip Lingerie in... I wish you know the... Oh, it's called Corset. I remember that now. Um, like a brownie nude colour. Really great formula um, if you have trouble wearing matte lipsticks normally. Uh, Bliss Sex Lip Balm. Also love. Not really getting really very much, am I? <laughs> a... I think it's Rimmel Nude Lipstick. No, Maybelline. Moisture Elixir in Notting Hill Nude. That's really good. I might have to decide between the nude lipsticks. Um, H&M Seashell Lipstick. It's also really nice. Don't want to get rid of any of them. Okay, so we'll put the nudes together. This is a Mango Blistex Balm. I might get rid of that because I have a lot of lip balms. Carrere's Mango Balm. This is a peachy colour, so I think I'll keep that. Two NARS lip pencils, one is called, um, I don't know the names, Therese and Descansic, my eyesight's really bad, <laughs> um, they're really nice and the NARS, so I'm going to keep them. Uh, a nude lipstick, that's very nude so I don't think I'm going to wear that anymore, so I'll get rid of that one. It's quite good because it's forcing me to get rid of stuff. Um, I got this recently. Another nude lipstick. I just like buying lipstick. And then not wearing them. <laughs> um, so I'll keep that. A Chanel lipstick that I've barely worn. In like a purple colour. But it's my only Chanel lipstick so I kind of want to keep it. Mm. I've just broken it. <laughs> we'll see. Um, Sugar Honey Lip Balm. This is fine, so I'm going to keep that. A Maybelline Pinky Lip Colour. Um, I love this. I've worn it quite a lot. It's quite moisturising. I'm going to keep that. Bourjois Rouge Edition Lipstick. Also really nice, but quite similar to Maybelline. It's more purpley though. But it's very similar to the NYX, so I might get rid of that one. Um, mini of something that I got free, get rid of that. Um, tantalizing taupe, Maybelline lip colour, gorgeous, keeping that. <laughs> and we've got my Max, I've got Hue, um, Cram Cup, Taupe, and Yash. I haven't used Yash in ages actually, so I mean, I can't get rid of them. 
So I'm still left with these, but any guy can get rid of. Um, I think one of these can go. Might have to try these two and then choose between them. Put them to one side. Definitely keeping those. Reds. Oh, they'll be really good for autumn. I'm going to keep these. It's not too bad. I'm just going to make sure that I use them a bit more. Okay, so it's not anything very special here. I would like a uniform brush collection, but for now they're all mismatched. Um, a lot of them are real techniques though. I've uh, got like a bronzing blush brush. Love that. Keeping that. I think I'm going to keep all my brushes by the way. Buffing brush. Real techniques. Love that. Contour brush. Highlight, well, foundation brush that I use as a highlighter brush. Um, Smashbox powder brush, had this years, should get a new one, but still love it. Um, Morphe contour brush, got that recently in New York, so I'm going to keep that one. Um, this is a So Eco big bronzing brush, love that one, keeping that. MAC 217, my only like professional brush for eyeshadows. Um, Urban Decay, this came with the Naked 3 palette. Love that, keeping that. Um, this is the Real Techniques Concealer Brush, also really good, so keeping that. The Anastasia Light Brow Brush, um, nice and angled, and really good for the dip brow. So keeping that. This is a Bare Minerals like changeable brush, so I've got um, a few other brushes that you can take off, it's like magnetic, really good for eyeshadows and like liners. And then another brow brush and lash separator because I like to wear a lot of mascara so things can get a bit messy up in there. Um, so yeah. And I've also got a Real Techniques blending sponge and my eyelash colours. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you made it to the end and enjoyed seeing inside my makeup collection. I'm really pleased that I actually managed to throw things away because I thought I would just want to keep it all. But filming it actually forced me to sort through my products and um, really eliminate the ones that I wouldn't use anymore. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon with another video. Um, I hope you're having a great day. I always say that really sarcastically and I don't mean it. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day and subscribe to my channel to see more. And you can follow me on Instagram at ella.rider. i link that all down below. Um, follow me on Twitter, um, Snapchat and yeah, wherever you want really. And my blog is ellarider.com. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to see more of the things I'm using at the moment, and I will see you soon. Oh, oh, oh.